Hello, welcome back to 3 Delirium. My name is AJ, and today we're going to work on another functional print. Lately, I've been having a few issues with my refrigerator, as if it wouldn't shut completely closed, then the door would swing wide back open, and we would lose lots of, lots of cold coming out of it, and it would be more uh, strain on our electric bill, and it would uh, put some of our food at risk of you know, spoiling and going bad. So, I have a few ideas on how to fix it, but let's see if we can use 3D printing to get the job done. So here's the situation with my fridge. It is your average fridge, standard two doors in the front, uh, space in the back sits directly on the floor, and it has little feet at the bottom. And I know that typically this solution would be solved by making the fridge level, but I'm not quite sure if the fridge is level or not. I know that on the very bottom, on the feet, they would be threaded on the front, so I could just unscrew the feet in the front, making them longer to then tip the fridge backwards so that it'll, gravity will allow it to swing shut. But it doesn't do that, allowing it to swing open and let cold air out. So the real issue with my fridge is the location it needs to stay in. So there's this unruly large furniture piece built into the cabinet space and it's made so that a fridge would fit directly into it and it has these little pieces of molding that are meant to make it look a little fancy but they are very much not and in the way so I have already attempted to pull it out a little bit tip it forward and unscrew those feet but I have encountered the situation of it making contact with this little piece of molding in the frame around my fridge. And I know that I could potentially pull the fridge the whole way out, screw in the feet in the back if they are threaded to allow it to lower the backside and therefore tilt the fridge in the proper direction. But uh, I'm hesitant to pull the fridge the whole way out. So I need a solution that will allow me to tilt the fridge back without pulling the whole fridge out of its little alcove section. So a friend of mine had the idea of making a little sham, a little wedge to go underneath each foot and we can see how that fixes the situation, and if it doesn't, I could easily make another one to just fit on top and kind of keep increasing the angle of the wedge by adding more wedges, and we'll see how unlevel we can get the fridge. If we can tilt the fridge back far enough, maybe then it'll finally work and allow the door to close properly. We do have a bit of a short one today, but I also wanted to show how simple it would be to make a wedge. So I, instead of fast forwarding through the creation part like I usually do on the 3D modeling software, I'll show in real time all the time it takes to make a simple shape like a wedge for a doorstop or this, this uh, refrigerator leveling sham with just a few clicks and ensuring that it's the proper height it takes no time at all, no fast forward, and here's the answer.
we are in the kitchen, so let's take a look under the refrigerator. Perfect! That seemed to work like a charm. I am glad it's a bright orange, too, to really remind me that, hey, a functional print is down there at work at all times. I'll let you in on a little secret. I kind of lied earlier in the video. My apologies. When I clicked slice on my slicing software earlier, I actually had it at 15% infill, which means the wedge itself would have been at a little bit weaker than a uh, solid infill. It wasn't a solid chunk of plastic, so the weight of the fridge would have certainly kind of created a divot in the, in the wedge. So I ended up having to slice it again off camera, and this time I made it 100% infill, which did make it take about 10 times as long to print, but it should be a nice solid piece of plastic. Now, I did make it out of uh, PLA material, the softer of the plastics that I have to work with. So I'm interested to see how this solid chunk of plastic will hold up under the weight of our fridge for as long as we'll be here. So it'll be interesting to see how it works, but it'll always be a reminder that a bright orange functional print is at work in our kitchen. Well, that was a mission accomplished. And join us next time here on 3 Delirium to uh, see what next mission we'll have to try to fix with 3D printing. How do you think we did with, this, with these wedges, with these shams? Let me know in the comments down below if you thought it was a good idea or a bad idea. And if you'd like to see more of our functional prints, or whatever I can fix around the apartment, you could consider subscribing to our channel to stay up to date with what we're working on every week. From all of us here at 3 Delirium, welcome this time and next, so we can all hallucinate about the possibilities of 3D printing. I'll see you next time.